name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing the Muldahara, or the root chakra. First, let's discuss what a chakra is. A chakra is an energy transducer, plain and simply put. The life force energy of our Creator is too intense for our energetic systems to withstand. If we were to be subjected to the pure, unfiltered light energy of the Creative Principle, we would be burned to a crisp. But this is the life force energy, and we need it to be alive and sentient. So we have transducers, or chakras, that step down this super high vibrational energy into forms that our system can use. There are hundreds of, of chakras throughout the human energetic system. Even the tiny acupuncture points on the acupuncture meridians are tiny little chakras. There are chakras on each of our multiple bodies as well. Each chakra from the highest of our bodies will then in turn step down the life force energy into the next lower body chakra. And so it goes right on down to our physical bakra, uh, bodies where this life force energy can be used to keep us alive and healthy. A chakra looks like a whirling vortex of energy that somewhat resembles a tiny tornado or a series of tiny tornadoes bound together that ultimately resembles a funnel. Chakras connect to a major energy channel that runs up the body from the tailbone to the top of the head called the shishamna. Intertwining around the shishamna energy channel are the smaller nada and pingala energy channels. When looking at the Shushamna and the Nada and Pingala energy channels, the image rep, uh, resembles the medical caduceus symbol. The seven major chakras are the Muldahara, or the root chakra, the Svadhisthana, or sex chakra, the Manipura, or navel chakra, the Anahata, or heart chakra, the Visuddha, or Throat Chakra, the Ajna, or Third Eye Chakra, and the Sahasarara, or the Crown Chakra. There are also medium-sized chakras on the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. Today we will be discussing the qualities of the Muldahara, or the Root Chakra. The Root Chakra is located between the anus and the urethra, or in the perineum of area of the physical body. This trumpet flower-shaped chakra opens down towards the earth and glows an intense red color. The root chakra is concerned with physical needs and basic human survival. It has the lowest vibrational rate of all the chakras resonating to the color red. The symbol of the Muldahara chakra includes the element earth, which is represented by the square or the yantra, and the inverted triangle, which denotes downward movement of energy, which keeps us grounded to the earth. And so, there is a link between the root chakra and gravity, which constantly pulls us downward, connecting us to our material existence. The four lotus petals of this chakra symbolize the four elements of our earthly home, fire, water, air, and earth. The deity commonly associated with the root chakra is Ganesh, the elephant-headed god which Hindus believe helps us to overcome obstacles. Now the characteristics of the root chakra when it is too open, that means it's spinning too fast, are bullying, domineering, greedy, sadistic, judgmental and intolerant, with strong biased opinions. These people tend towards being over-materialistic, self-centered, and they, they often take foolish physical risks. When the chakra is blocked, meaning that it spins sluggishly or not at all, there is an emotional neediness about the person. The person has low self-esteem and tends to be self-destructive and their overall behavior is anxious, restless, and fearful. Often there are nightmares. There is a lack of discipline, financial difficulties, chronic disorganization, 
a general lack of con and a general lack of confidence. They can't seem to achieve goals and are prone to suicidal thoughts. There is little interest in sex and they tend towards masochistic belief structures. There is a core feeling of unworthiness, self-doubt and shame. Thought forms such as I don't deserve love or I'm ashamed of who I am or I'm also misunderstood are very common. They try to compensate for these feelings by acquiring things and controlling material possessions by becoming addicted to material things. When this chakra is balanced, meaning that the chakra maintains its equilibrium, equilibrium and spins at the correct vibrational speed, you find a person that demonstrates self-mastery. They have high physical energy. They are grounded and healthy. There is great vitality and there is the sense of trust in the world. They feel safe and secure. They have the ability to relax and there is stability and prosperity in their lives. Some physical body issues associated with the root chakra are frequent illness, disorders of the bowel, large intestine, osteoarthritis, bone and teeth issues chronic lower back pain and sciatica, eating disorders, constipation, physical problems with the coccyx and the genitals. In men there are prostate issues. Eating disorders are also associated with imbalances in this chakra as are, are adrenal gland issues. The most common addiction when this chakra is imbalanced are towards food, gambling, shopping and work. The main traumas and abuses associated with this chakra are birth traumas, abandonment issues, physical neglect, poor physical bonding with the mother, malnourishment, physical abuse, and war-related issues. Some healing strategies for the root chakra are to do a lot of physical activities receive and give lots of touch, especially massage. Other ways to open a blocked root chakra include certain Hatha Yoga poses, such as the bridge pose, knee to chest pose, head to knee pose, and squatting pose. Practicing Kegel exercises for both men and women can be very beneficial as is the yoga practice of the pelvic lock, which is basically doing a Kegel exercise and holding it longer and breathing in a special way while doing this, seated in the lotus position. Chanting or toning sounds can also help tremendously to bring you back into balance in this area. Sounds create vibration in the body, and these vibrations helps the cells work together in synchronistic harmony the mantra sound that corresponds to the root chakra is LAM. Try visualizing the symbol of the Muldahara chakra in the perineum area of your body while you chant LAM like this. LAM Some scents, colors, and gems can also be used to help open this and balance this chakra. First off, wear a lot of red clothing to help with this issue. Because the root chakra is associated with a sense of smell, using essential oils is particularly beneficial to the health of this chakra. Some scents particularly suited for this area are cedarwood, patchouli, myrrh, musk, and lavender. Some gemstones that benefit the root chakra include garnet, red jasper, black tourmaline, hematite, apache tear, obsidian, smoky quartz, and bloodstone. Now you can carry the crystals in your pants pocket through the day 
or you can place the crystals on the area of the root chakra while lying down to help to open and align, align it. And a helpful affirmation for the root chakra is, it is safe for me to be here. The earth supports me and meets my needs. I love my body and trust its wisdom. I am interested in abundance. I am here and I am real. I trust my higher self to fulfill all my needs. My life is full of prosperity. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by checking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.